food security in India, economics, social studies, question and answer. Exercise 1. How is food security ensured in India? Answer. Food security is ensured in a country when the three dimensions of food security are taken care of. The three dimensions are availability of food, presence of enough food for all the person, accessibility of food, absence of barrier on the access to food, affordability of food, capability of all persons to buy food. 2. Which are the people more prone to food insecurity? Answer. A large section of people suffer from food and nutrition insecurity in India. However, the book follows. Landless and land poor household, traditional artisans, providers of traditional services, pretty self-employed workers and has, uh, destitute including beggars in the rural areas. People employed in ill-paid occupations and laborers engaged in seasonal activities in the urban areas. People belonging to the backward sections of society, namely SCST and OBCs. People belonging to the economically backward state with high incidences of poverty, tribal and remote areas, and regions more prone to the natural disasters. People affected by natural disasters who have to migrate to other areas in search of work. Large proportions of the pregnant and nursing mothers and children under the age of five years. Three, which states are more food insecure in India? Answer, the economically backward states with high incidence of poverty are more food insecure in India. The state of Uttar Pradesh, eastern and southern eastern parts, Bihar, Jharkhand, Orissa, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh, part of Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra accounts for the largest number of food insecure people in the country. 4. Do you believe that Green Revolution has made India self-sufficient in foods? How? Answer. In the late 1960, the Green Revolution introduced the Indian farmers to the cultivation of high-yielding varieties, HYVs of seeds. The HYV coupled with chemical fertilizers and pesticides led to a growth in the productivity of food, grains, especially wheat and rice, thereby helping Indian attain self-sufficiency in food grains. Since the advent of the Green Revolution, the country has avoided famine even during adverse weather conditions. 5. A section of people in India are still without food. Explain. Answer. Despite large increase in food grains production, we find people without food in India. Poor people suffer from chronic hunger. They find themselves unable to buy food. Over the one-fifth of the country's population still suffer from the chronic hunger. 6. What happens to the supply of food when there is a disaster or a calamity? Answer. When there is a disaster or a calam calamity, the production of food grains decrease in the affected area. This in turn creates a shortage of food in the area. Due to the food shortage, the price go up. The raised price of food materials affect the capacity of many people to buy the same. When the calamity occurs in a very wide spread area or is stretched over a long period of time, it may cause a situation of starvation. A massive starvation can take the form of famine. 7. Differentiate between seasonal hunger and the chronic hunger. Answer. Seasonal hunger is related to the cycles of food growing and harvesting. This is prevalent in rural area because of the seasonal nature of agriculture activities, urban areas because of the casual labor. Example, there is less work for casual construction labor during the rainy season. This type of hunger exists when a person is unable to get work for the entire year. Chronic hunger is a consequence of diets presently inadequate in terms of quantity and or quality. People, more poor people suffer from chronic hunger because of their very low income and in turn inability to buy food even for survival. 8. What has our government done to provide food security to the poor 
discuss any two schemes launched by the government? Answer. The food security is ensured in India by the government by careful design food security system. This system is composed of two components. A. Maintaining a buffer stock of food grain. B. Through the distribution of these food grains among the poorer sections of the society with the help of a public distribution system. PDS. In addition to the above, the government has launched several poverty elevation programs PAP, that comprises a component of food security. Some of these programs are Midday Meals, uh, Antodhyaya, Anna Yojana, AAY, and Food for Work, FFW, etc. Two schemes launched by the government to provide food security to the poor are Antayodaya Anna Yojana AAY this summer 2000. Under this scheme, one crore of the poorer among the BPL families covered by the public distribution system identified. 25 kilograms of food grains were made available to each of the eligible family at a highly subsidized rate. After about two years, the quantity was enhanced from 25 kg to 35 kg. In June 2003 and August 2004, additional 50 lakh families were added to this scheme twice. In this way, about 2 crore families have been brought under AAY, Food for Work, FFW. This program was launched in November 2004 in 150 most backward districts of the country. The main objective of this scheme is to intensify the generation of supplementary wage employment. The scheme is open to all rural poor who are willing to do unskilled labor. In return of the work, the workers are supplied food grains or money as they like. 9. Why is a buffer stock created by the government? Answer. Buffer stock of food grains is created by the government to, as, to distribute the produced food grains in the food deficit areas and among the poorer strata of society at a price low than the market price. A buffer stock helps resolve the problem of shortage of food during adverse weather conditions or during periods of calamity. 10. Write notes on A. Minimum support price B. Buffer stock C. Issue price D. Where price shop Answers A. Minimum support price MSP this is the pre-announced price at which the government purchase food grains, particularly wheat and rice from the farmers in order to create a buffer stock. This price is announced by the government every year before the sowing season to give incentive to the farmers to raise the productions of their desired crop. The raising, rising MSPs have raised the maintenance costs of procuring food grains by the government as well as Indeed, induce farmers to divert land from productions of chorus grains to the production of these crops. B. Buffer stock. It is the stock of food grains, particularly wheat and rice, which the government uh, procured through the Food Corporation of India (FCI). The FCI purchased these cereals directly from the farmers of those states where they are in surplus. The price of these commodities is much before the actual sowing season of these crops. The food grains thus purchased by the FCI are kept in big granaries and are called buffer stock. Maintaining buffer stock is a step taken by the government in order to ensure food security in the country. C. Issue price. In order to help the poor starter of the society, government provides them food grains from the buffer stock at a price much lower than the market price. This subsidized price is known as the issue price. D. Fair price shop. The food grains procured by the government through FCI is distributed to the poor sections of the society through ration shops. The ration shops are called fair price shop because food grains are supplied to the poor through these shops at much reasonable and a fair price than the market price, which is often high. Any family with a ration card can purchase stipulated amount of food grains, sugar, kerosene, etc. Every month for, from the nearby fair price shop. 11. What are the problems of functioning of the ration shops? Answer. 
There are various problems of the functioning of Russian shops such as Russian cards are issued only to those people who have their proper residential addresses. Hence, a large number of homeless poor fail to get Russian from these shops. The owners of these shops sell rations in the open market at higher prices. Sometimes shopkeepers make bugs and trees in the Russian cards. 12. Write a note on the role of cooperatives in providing food and related items. Answer. The cooperatives are playing an important role in food security in India, especially in the southern and the western part of the country. The cooperative societies set up shops to sell goods to our poor people at lower prices. For example, out of all fair price shops operating in Tamil Nadu, nearly 94% are being run by the cooperatives. In Delhi, Mother Dairy is providing milk and vegetables to the consumers at control price, which are decided by the Delhi government. Amul is another example in this regard. It has brought about a white revolution in the country. There are many more cooperatives and NGOs also working intensively towards this direction. If you like the video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you.